so uh, so we do this two divided by from. So for us, that would be we're going to the Tuesday price, which is 109. Oh, hold on, that's a line tool. 109.34. And where are we coming from? We're coming from 107.52. Okay, put that into the calculator. Let's see what it throws up. You have, probably have to press the SD. Tell me what you get. Oh, 1.016. Now, look at this. The first two digits is very telling, remember? Yeah. The one, this just means that we've had an increase. In other words, the answer, this answer is hiding in here. When we do two divided by from, yes, it doesn't give us exactly like the answer like this, 1.69. But what it does is it gives us the answer in code. And the code is one here at the front stands for an increase. And this stands for 1%, doesn't it? The two digits after the decimal point reveal how much percentage you've gone up by. So there's nothing in the tens column, and there's something in the units column. It's not really the tens column, but you know, there's nothing here, and there's something there. So that's 1%, isn't it? And of yeah. course, you got, you got the 0.69 afterwards. So you would conclude from that that the increase is plus 1.69. What do you think? It might take a little bit of getting used to, right? <laughs> anyway, let's take let's take a screenshot of that. Uh, let's do another one. We'll do it in terms of house prices this time. So we've got a house. Let's just go for that example I put before. Two hundred twenty thousand. Um, this would be in let's say twenty twenty one, and in twenty twenty two. It's gone up to you. Let's say 240,000. What is the percentage increase? OK, so look, we'll do it. We'll do it the school way again. To find a percentage increase or percentage change, you do the change divided by the original, original times by 100. So how do we get that change? We do the new price, take away the old price to two. And then we will divide that by the original, which is the 220,000. So what is that going to give us? That's just going to give us 20,000 divided by 220,000. Got to sorry, we got to times it by 100. So you can write 20,000 over 220, but those three zeros can just cancel. So you can just write 20 divided by 220, and then times by 100. You should get 9.1%. It's 9.09, .09, but rounded, probably 9.1%. Is that okay? Nine, how did you get 9.1? I got 9.0. Yeah, I think it's, isn't it? It's 9.09. .09. Yeah. Yeah, the 9 will, I mean, if you write it as 9.09, .09, then that's to one decimal place anyway. That 9 will round this up to a 1. Mm. So 9.1%. Okay. We don't normally give percentages to, to such accuracy as saying nine. I think one decimal place mm -hmm. is fine. So when we say round to one decimal place, we look to see if this is five or more. If it is, mm -hmm. it will round this up to the next digit up. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. So we got our 9.1%. Now let's look at the, uh, I think, the preferred um, method or the quick method, which is just going to be two where you're going to divided by where you're coming from. And you don't need to times it by 100 or anything. You just calculate two divided by from. Now, if you really want to be quick about this, you'll realize that these are both in thousands. So there's no point putting 240,000 because, yeah, you can just cancel these three for these three, right? So just yeah. put 200, 240 divided mm -hmm. by 220. Is that okay? Yeah. And two, 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 whoops, 240 divided by 220 gives you 1.09. Well, actually, it's 1.09 recurring, so it's actually going to do this. So if we look at these digits here, remember the first two digits after the decimal point, that tells you that's 9%. And then, yeah, this 9 is going to round that up to a 1, so there's your 9.1%. Look how much faster this is than that. Yeah. Look at that. You've got to get the change. You've got to subtract it. Then you've got to put over the original, and then you times it by 100. It's a lot of work here. You just um, you're just doing where you're going to. 
I mean, you could write 240,000 divided by 220,000, but because they're both thousands, you can just get, get rid of those three zeros. In fact, you can cancel a zero for a zero and it's just 24. Type into your calculator 24 divided by 22. Yeah. And then just press SD and look what you get. The same, right? So that's a quick way to find a percentage change. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. On this uh, SHL paper, right? And this embodies what we've been, just been doing. Between which months did Mercury show the biggest percentage increase? OK, so straight away, um, Mercury is uh, colored red. So Mercury is colored red. And so, yes, so we're just looking from April. The options April to May. So that would be 18 divided by 16. And you get an answer of 1.125. So what would the percentage increase be for that? I'll give you a clue. Yeah, I did the box thing. OK, so what have you got in there? Uh, 12, right? Yeah. So, 12. so it's 12.5. That's a 12.5% increase. So what you're trying to do is you're going to move along and see if you can beat that, right? Now, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get anything. I think we're going to find our winner in these first three, because look, from there to there is not really an increase at all, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm already looking to rule out June to July to August. I'll, I'll calculate it. I'll calculate it just so you can see. But I think definitely options when you do multiple choice to eliminate certain options just by the eye. That's not really a big percentage increase, is it? So, OK, we go to May to June. This looks like the most likely candidate to compete with this one. So we're going to go up to 21. Just put it there. 21 and we're coming from 18. So we go 21 divided by 18, and let's just see what the calculator throws up. 1.16. One six, and then you got a six afterwards, right? Or you could say a seven, you could round it to a seven, but let's just say six. So then put your box around. What have we got there? 16. Mm -hmm. One six, right? You would actually say 16.6. .6. So yeah, this seems to be greater. So let's just see. I think the only other competitor could be June to July. And this goes up from 21 to 24. So let's do that. 24 is where we're going to divided by 21. And that's just not competing with 16. That's 1.1428, which if you put a box around these is 14% to 14.3. Just by the eye, I can tell that's nothing's really going to happen there. We're going up from 24 to 25, right? Yeah. But I'll, I'll do it anyway. 25 is where you're going to from 24. We get 1.04. That's actually only a 4% increase. Is that okay? Yeah.